Welcome to Stories Behind the Objects, where we take a close-up look at the history behind Museum of the Rockies artifacts in five minutes or less. Depending on who you ask, there are only two seasons in Montana, winter and rodeo. The sport of rodeo is one of the West's enduring pastimes. Bozeman is no exception, and today we're going to explore the Bozeman Roundup, shown in these postcards from the museum's collection. After the end of World War I, the town was missing any kind of hallmark annual community event. A group of businessmen and investors saw that void as an opportunity to create a new celebration, and the idea for a local rodeo was born. Of course, if you want to have a rodeo, you need rodeo grounds, and construction began on a brand new rodeo arena in July of 1919. $20,000 and just one month later, the arena was finished, and the first Bozeman Roundup was held on August 12, 1919. The new arena was able to accommodate up to 15,000 spectators. Lofty dreams for a town with only 6,000 residents. The Bozeman Roundup featured a rodeo, parade, and Wild West show. The first rodeo was a smash hit, with over 12,000 spectators coming to the arena to cheer as cowboys and cowgirls competed for cash prizes. The excited crowds would shout out the rodeo slogan, She's wild! The Roundup attracted some of the most famous cowgirls of the time, and you can see them featured in these postcards. The cowgirls included Bonnie McCarroll, Mabel Strickland, Fanny Sperry Steele, Prairie Rose Henderson, and Princess Redbird. Throughout the early decades of the 1900s, women riders had gained respect, recognition, and increased opportunities to compete at rodeos. At the Bozeman Roundup and rodeos around the country, women competed in many events. From roping and trick riding to rough stock events like bronc busting and bull riding, women's athleticism and grit were rewarded. Fanny Sperry Steele, seen in this postcard, was likely a local favorite. She was born in Montana Territory in 1887, and she began riding professionally in 1904. She began participating in rough stock events in 1907, going on to twice earn the title of Lady Bucking Horse Champion of the World. Fanny was not only a talented rider, but she was a skilled markswoman as well. She would perform in Wild West shows with her husband, where she was known for shooting a cigar out of his mouth. No pressure. Fanny's last professional competitive performance in a rodeo was at the Bozeman Roundup in 1925, a fitting finale for the Montana girl. Unknown to the community, the Roundup was also nearing its end at the same time. The Bozeman Roundup was so successful that it was repeated every year until 1926, growing from a one-day event to a four-day event. However, after the 1926 Roundup, the stadium was severely damaged by lightning. It was never repaired and was eventually dismantled for scrap. But don't fear, rodeo fans, the Roundup rose from the ashes in 1940, finding a new sponsoring organization and a new home at the fairgrounds. Bozeman and many surrounding communities still host annual rodeos today. And while the rodeo only lasts a few days, the memories last a lifetime. In the words of Fanny, to the yesterdays that are gone, to the cowboys I used to know, to the bronchbusters that rode beside me, To the horses beneath me, I take off my hat. I wouldn't have missed one minute of it. 